may never be repeated. $29.99. Operators are standing by. Absolutely. There's too many. Oh, my favorite thing. The Transamerica building. <laughs> That's my own special wife. Don't you see the wife? blinking page? Wife? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Madeline, and we got a great show for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today is Thrasher Magazine special. We've got the skateboard special, California Lifestyles. Of course, we're welcoming Kevin Thatcher, Mofo, and Mr. Science, our own scientifically skating whatever expert, right? Isn't that what you, you know, are? I'm always questing for knowledge, and I've got something I'd like to ask you guys. I'm always puzzled about it. Which, which takes more out of you, going surfboarding or skateboarding? Beer. Yeah. Skateboarding uh, takes more flesh, I, I'd have to say that. Uh-huh, right even, but the coral weeds and the sharks and shit, those no, matter? No, that's not a Okay, well, you know, those surfers, you know what they do? We had a surf show, they piss in their wetsuits, so, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's because of beer. That's, that's, that's why. a technique to keep warm I know, while you're out in the cold beer. water. One thing i got to say, Madeline, you're really dressed professionally. I wish all, every skateboarder would do that. Yeah, definitely. Safety, right? Mr. Right. Science Safety knows. First. You know, he used to work for You're missing uh, one thing. What's that? One Thing. Beer. Be well, yeah. There's beer, and you're missing a, a squashed rose I sat on. Oh, a squashed rose. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Thank you, Mo. Well, no, that's, that's it. No, see, when, 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 you, when, you, when, you, when you fall down and you eat doo-doo, uh -huh. you got to break these things up and get the staff, and you got to poke open the scab. You use the thorns, and you get the rocks out of your out of your system, right? And you shove it into your wound. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that's really. And then cool. you get then you get these things, and you squish them up in your fingers, and you rub them right behind your ears. Uh huh. Yep, and then you send the rest to your mom for Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day, and uh, we'll Thank talk you. about your mothers later and how often you my mom. You talking about my mom? That's right, babe. And you know we love mothers here. Now listen, we're gonna get to some serious questions, but first let's get a seriously involved caller. Hi, you're on the air. Can we help you? Hello, you're live on TV. You want to say hi to your mom? I guess not. Okay. Radio Shack squawk. You know, this is a great town to be in, but I lived in Santa Barbara, and I think I saw more skateboarders there than I have here. Is that right? They okay. stay pretty much underground up, up here in the city. Why, why is that? Well, here the beer's better in Santa the, Barbara. The sewer pipes are, like, you know, big around yeah, skateboarding. Yeah, bigger. Well, the, so, well, that's the thing. Here's the question, you know. I mean, uh, you guys are internationally known, Thrasher Magazine, and you go editor and photographer. Um, do you see different styles developing, you know, in different countries or, or what? The Euros you know, kind of suck because they're totally mean? serious about everything. Yeah. Just they really got good serious. beer. They got good beer. Yeah. They got a lot yeah. of good things. They got but good beer. They're skating. Uh -huh. They're just really serious about every aspect of it, like the you know, like the you know, Right. The city in California and the U.S. It's more just uh, a okay. fun deal and, and you know have fun. But the Danes are rad. Yeah. The Danes are rad. Dan well, all the countries they got shoes. good beer. The Swedes aren't good because their beer is pretty bad. They only got two percent alcohol, right? Yeah. But then they go across the river to Denmark where they got the cool ramps and the good beer. All right. And then they have a lower suicide rate and uh -huh. they got better air because it's better beer. That's, not, that's, that's really uh, yeah, That's pretty much it. Then you go to Amsterdam, they got more than beer. They got the hash bars, they got all the cool stuff, they got uh -huh. the space cakes. All right, and you just good. get better air. Should we go to a call? Okay, caller. Hi, you're on air. Can we help you? Hello, caller. Oh, well. Later. Listen, um, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what it is. Uh, now, uh, speaking of California, now what is this with the California? You know, are we We're like, talking about Sweden. I know. We were talking about how, how much hipper skating is in California, right? Now, now California is like, is it the trendsetter? Is it the, like, you know, garden of Eden of skating? Like, what is it about California? Is it just because of the surfing or what? You still I mean, skate barefoot here, I guess. Uh -huh. We got anchor steam. You so go. you're trying to cultivate this whole California cult and... and no, it's not thing? necessarily just California. Like uh -huh. Midwest, like Lincoln, Nebraska, and, and uh, 
you know, Midwest, Deep South, and Florida, and New York City, there, there's all kinds of stuff. They're all, yeah, so we're all... It's just America. It's America, God damn it! Hi, should we take a call? Caller, you're about to be on this Amount. wonderful TV show. Oh. The thing oh, I see it. is all the curbs have to be jumped around here. They're, the they're sidewalks just aren't made for for, uh -huh. for skateboarders. Mr. Science, it's funny you should mention After curbs because the uh, there's a story about a skater yeah. who, who, who was grinding this curb so much he made his own handicap ramp in the curb. Wow, that's right amazing. now. So. Scientifically yeah. speaking, yeah, the guy I really a lot of the, friction going. I, on. I admire the most is, is Tony Sarah that built a, a, a skateboarding ramp for his kids yeah, there you in Molinas, and we covered it in. Up. Okay, Thrasher. Hey, speaking of Thrasher, it's skate day and it's Mother's Day coming up this week and next. We're gonna sandwich Mother theme between this incredible holiday and here's a tape made by me actually. Um, called I Love You, Mom. And I know you guys all enjoy because you get to see my breasts. And here we go. Yeah, here's the So, you know, my mother said that I should get my teeth fixed because it took me years to get over. Wait, let's bring these into the light. Wait, let me light my cigarette. Excuse me. Ooh, watch the flame. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about my buck teeth. You see, I had terrible orthodontal history. Anyway, so my mother always said that these teeth were unappealing, you know, and I always was really embarrassed, and I'd keep my lips closed and tight, and, and I finally got over them the gap between my teeth because, you know, I, I, I grew to deal with imperfection. I grew to deal with it. Now that I've um, masked up the camera, you can't really see what the problem with my teeth is, but I finally got over these buck teeth. And then just, just like a year ago, I mean, I'm a grown adult, graduated from college. My mother said, don't you think you should do something about those teeth, Madeline? <laughs> and I was, I was really, I was like, what's the problem with my teeth? Should I feel bad? And they're like, she was like, no, that's not an appealing. It's just, you know, you'd look so much better. So I said, I told her, I'd look a lot better if you changed your attitude, mother. Tiny, I will love you and I will like you. I just don't like, like you look. You look like something you are not. How often should I tell okay, you this? Fine. So will you I think you're a very decent girl, and I, I, it, it makes me, it makes me hurt that you really make the worst out of you instead of making the best out of you. Sexy. What do you want me to look? You have a sex 
sexy face. But with that blonde hair, it's gone. It's gone into the into the gutter. God, yeah. mother. It is. It is. Well, don't worry about it. It'll grow out soon. Soon, I probably won't bleach it. Well, it had just gone out, and now you do it again. I know. And it's know. cows. Don't advertise cows. Is that the sense of life? My God, no. Have I told you this? Bad enough like the world is. Don't make it worse by teaching people to be worse. I'm not teaching people. I also make videos for myself, mother. I don't well, make for yourself. Yours is a is a communication art. Yeah, so uh, so if you have no audience, what is your art for? You want to transmit it. It's a transmitted art. You don't just do it for yourself. That's silly. Because this is not what this art is meant about. Partly it could be. I don't know. I think one always has to contribute something to the mankind. If I just do a garden, that I rather like to do that than doing silly things and, and bringing people into chaos. Oh, wonderful, bringing more chaos. I don't mean chaos. to bring people into chaos. Sometimes I enjoy. I think it's. I'm I think it's it. No, I take it back. I think it's interesting. You yeah. have to have think about you know what life is all about. You know. Oh, my head is a lampshade with a bulb in my head. No, I'm just now angry you because you tell me I'm angry about something which I shouldn't be angry about. And hi, we're on air. Thanks for um, keeping tuned. That was a great piece, man. Yeah. Nice Thank breasts. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now listen, I got a question for you guys. You know how the cops use, uh, you know how the guys uh, use, uh, the cops use uh, uh, mountain bikes to catch these? You think they're going to use uh, skateboards to uh, catch these? I don't know, no, um, I don't think so. I don't think that they can they can uh, do a million ollies with uh, those uh, bulletproof vests. The I think it's like less aerodynamic than the, the normal they thing. They got the lead vest on and you got to ollie up the curve and go uh -huh, uh -huh. the way. And there's no way they could catch like... Well, they, how could they do that? Because boarding is... They couldn't easy. catch the jack's team. I can't believe you guys are here on the show. Oh, and you guys are my... I'm your biggest fan. I love your magazine. We try and stay, so uh, keep a low profile. You're just killer, man. Thanks. You know, I have a question for you, Mofa. I want to ask you about beer, since since you seem to like beer quite a lot. What about light beer? Does, light does it beer? really um, fill you up less? Burns my lips. For skating? I mean, do you think skaters, you know, should Burns. use light beer? Light beer, than... you know what, it's been clinically tested. Oh, Vans made a light and beer skate shoe. They got the no, light, light, light beer. Coors yeah. made a skate shoe. No, 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 they got, they, they have a special filter for the light beer, and it's aerodynamically tested, and it's been gone back, in, as far back as the Egyptians, I think. Well, we can right? see like, obviously, right? Right? Wait, can I take yeah. a picture yeah. of you guys? It's like, I'm such a big fan of yours. Okay, you ready? Let me take a picture of Mallory. Okay, you ready? And two. Oh, great. Thanks. Okay, well, let's go to a call. Are you ready, Caller? Hey, here we go. Can we help you? Yeah, I was only wondering one thing. What's that? Which is that this guy who's skating around the studio here, aren't you afraid he's going to bump into something and destroy your show? Who's this? The no. Can we get a long shot, camera, cameras? Great. Um, no, I think he can take care of himself like most skaters. Wheelchair? I think they're, uh take their lives into their own hands and they're pretty responsible. But try it sometime, okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. If, if you were here, we'd be worried about it. There you go. That is there you go. Thanks for calling. Yeah. We'll call now. Right. Um, any kind of questions? Never trust them. Okay, now listen, uh, you say that uh, skating in an empty pool is like sticking into the bourgeoisie, you know? Like, uh, do you have a pool <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and uh, what? If I had a pool, pool my pool would be full because I wouldn't want anybody to skate my pool because uh -huh. pools, skating pools is for skating other people's pools. Uh-huh, I see. I got a pool. You got a pool? Is it full or empty, Mofo? It's full of... Full of uh, Waters and yuppies. Uh huh. Not beer, I guess. Huh? No, no. Okay. Beer's right there around the corner. That's, That's right. Right. Yeah. right next to the sausage factory. Yeah. So listen, uh, do you think, uh, Mofo, that your photography styles? Uh, are you still? Do you just want to capture the action? Or are you looking for a certain style when you go out and shoot? He's got a different uh, style. That's I try to get as close as I can without getting hurt. 
Pretty okay. much. Okay, that's the style. I well, like if that. Well, I lead, I figure it's been a good day. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, the... what he says. It's <laughs> close as possible. You should have been at the big party okay. in Los Angeles when he threw his camera across the floor. That was pretty. That's pretty good. Well, listen, one There's last a new question. Technique he's working on. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the fuck ups any second now. But uh, one last question. Uh, what do you think uh, is the future? Where is the future for Thrasher magazine? Where are you guys going? Well, Anything we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary uh, uh -huh. coming up here in January, right. 1991. Yeah. So. What it's been a long time, and, and the whole crew has been with us all the way, and it's uh, it's been great. Okay. They've both been with me since day one, and uh, we're just going to do more of the same. Actually, really, the future of the magazine lies in the mothers of this country. We love you, Mom. Mom! Yeah. Mom! Thank you! Oh, you really live in San Jose. And Dad, this if up. it wasn't for your little squirt, I wouldn't be here. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, take the fuck up! Oh, wonderful. Okay, you guys. Three. Two, three. All right, we yeah. got quite an age variety, and hi, you are on the air. Hello. Hi, Madeline. Hi. How are you today? Just fine. Who's this calling? This is Tony Stallone. Oh, hi, Tony. Uh, how's your mother? She's fine. Is she? Did you send? Did you write her, or did you send her a card, or what? Send her a card and some flowers. Oh and all no! That. How about that? How did? How about you guys? Did you guys send uh, your mother anything? No way, man! No, 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 I forgot about it until you just did, now. You did, uh huh, uh huh. But six pack of beer. Six pack of beer. Now there's love for you. But you guys love your mothers, or yes. you're not gonna love them anymore? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next I month, you know, Paul, that's your mom. Shit, mom you stand up, well, you heard that. Well, thanks for tuning in. and Tune in again next week. Okay. Oh, you did something for your mom? Oh, how nice. Um, um, I did a picture and, and, 
and then Jeff. Uh huh. Whose son are you? Um, um, Bryce. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, 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 Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. Okay, and hi. You're on the air. Can we help you? You have a question for the fuck ups, or uh, why don't you tell us about your relationship with your mother? My mother? Yeah. I killed my mother. Oh! That was our mother's name. Oh. Dad, that's awful. I love my mother. We all love our mothers. And this special, special tape coming up. As you know, we've been uh, airing uh, George Kuchar's tapes, and this, Mike Kuchar is now um, in town with us, and this is a tape about his mother. A special tape of the Kuchar twin brother's mother. If you could follow that lineage, you're on. And here it is. And I have some bread for the bread sweets. I don't know, creep upstairs, she keeps me up all hours. She sleeps all day, she walks around all night. I don't know, when they go to bed when she goes, or whatever the hell, I don't know what's wrong with me. I wish I could sleep like she does in the daytime, but I can't. And sometimes I walk my, son, I walk my feet or walking and walking. I figure if I walk, then I can sleep better, but that doesn't help. And then I go out again, and I come back, and I'm just saying the same damn thing. And she'll go to bed at night and sleep right through the night, then I feel better, then I can see. There's always some, but there's some one thing. That was Mike and George's mother. Once again, happy Mother's Day, everyone. And here we have uh, a lovely caller. Hi, you're on air. Uh, hi, how's it going, everybody? Pretty good. It's hi. nice of you to call. Is there um, something you want to say on TV or what? Well, I have a question directed at Squash. 
Oh, a squash. Squash. For squash. Come in, come on here, squash. Yeah, uh, resident the laundry, photographer. Yes. Um, <laughs> what is this like skate bingo stuff? And uh, where did it originate? It seems like it's just a completely different world to me. You know, I'm just not familiar with any of these terms like ollie and uh. Um, well, they all came, I think they came from people who made up the tricks, right, guys? They probably know more about that than me, right? The, the, the donor, donor party, the donor party didn't make them. The day of a cereal. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, there you have it. Thanks for calling. the beer can. All right, thanks for calling. Bye. 864-2561, call in now. Now, listen, uh, how does uh, snowboarding uh, fit into all this uh, a lot yeah. of skaters it ain't. ride snowboards, it don't, it won't, but it, it doesn't. Won't, it won't. It's a different but they go up. <laughs> a lot of skaters ride snowboards. That's uh -huh. about it. Uh -huh. They go up and pretty much trash the resorts. Is like ultimate anxiety. It's 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 like uh, like mothers are the ultimate oxymoron. <laughs> it's like shopping. It's like oxy five, but it's a little different. And all the other the, the other thing, the major thing that separates the snowboarders from the skaters is that the skaters. Skaters can get the best deals on beer and have the best taste on beer than, 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 than snowboarders. The snowboarders, they're like, they've got frozen brains as well as their nards. They're pretty frozen too. All right, well, let's take another call and uh, call her ready to say goodbye to everyone. Hi, you're on air. Madeline, skate for us. Come on, get off your butt. Oh, no way. I don't know how to skate for us. Deep sea dive, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Super rocket power, come on, that skateboard. I don't know how to fucking skate. Okay. You're not supposed to fucking skate, you're supposed to skate. Oh, man, that's the best. Yeah, what do you say? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that was really unexciting, you guys. I, I'd much rather be deep sea, deep sea diving. Oh, look, there's no for diving. Well, you guys, thank you for tuning in to our lovely skate show. We love skating, and we love you. Tune in next week. Everybody come to our show May 18th at Gilman Street. Fuck ups. That's right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, MoFo. Thank you, Mr. Science, and all of our MVTV skaters. Tune in next week for Carol.